this is our practice of Nilakanta meditation, locating the subtle pulse of the divine heart, not the physical heart, not the heart chakra, but what is called the Hiridaya. And the, the beautiful verses from the Paratrinshika Vivarana tell us hmm, what stands in the heart, hmm, stands in the absoluteness, in the unboundedness. There we should steep and, and allow ourselves to be drawn and pulled in this natural inward pulse, the heart pulse, that the jyeshta current, this introversive current, draws us in so naturally. We could call it a tidal current of introversion and a further and further entry into the heart space within, the hiridaya heart space within, and there relishing the mysterious savor of the vibrating silence. Abhinav Gupta says, Shivananda rasa, the rasa, the nectar of the bliss of the absolute, savoring that. It is not something to be imagined. It is not something to simply think about or wonder about, as it were. It is, in fact, the savor of that which we relish and taste and we catch glimpses of within ourselves, deep in our meditation, something that simply brightly speaks to us, as it were, in the silence, calls us in the silence, is exquisitely present within us. That lively pulse of life, alive in the clarity and luminosity of the subtlest spaces within. With that, we merge in our practice of Nilakanta meditation. How marvelous, how amazing, how exquisite, how profound, how sobering and yet extraordinary to merge with this constantly operative divine creativity that surges as and from the bliss of the very self. We could say the eruption into form and space from the unbounded absolute merging into that unboundedness deeper and deeper, further and further values. The tradition teaches us the Hridaya Parispanda, this sublime and supreme heart pulse vibration of the heart is our concern, as it were, is what we seek to locate, is what animates our entire life, transforms, uplifts, and illuminates our entire existence and is, as it were, this essence core of the discipline of the practice of Nilakanta meditation from its first level through its seventh level of practice and indeed is extraordinarily present as in the, the, the essence core of all of the practices that we perform, that we receive from the Shaiva tradition. Our practice of Nilakanta meditation then invites us to enter that place where all separateness, all fragmentation, all differentiation, all variability is stripped away from us and all limitations temporarily subside. You say a smooth coherence of orderly perfection rises within us, a totality, a sweetness, and a perfect rightness of that ultimacy will increasingly show itself to us in our practice of meditation. And we will ponder and seek to understand what is this mysterious pull of the place of the heart? Why does it draw me so? Why does it pull me in into the experience of it more and more such that we become naturally disciplined, naturally devoted, naturally committed, naturally drawn into a daily exploration in our practice of Nilakanta meditation that from a very minute beginning perhaps reveals increasingly, increasingly, increasingly something mysterious, magnificent, fascinating, and completely beautiful in its character, sublime in its character, and also fiery and alive in the ultimate sense within us. We say within that space, wisdom, meaning, understanding, vision, insight, and all knowledge rest in a condition that we could call 
avikalpa, the tradition says, non-conceptual, beyond the expression in the mind, all knowledge rests in this place. And the tradition teaches us this is the heart, this is the yoni, the source place. This is the aham maha, the great I am, the perfectly fulfilled I am consciousness, the purnahanta. This is the cave of the heart, the hididaya guhya, the lotus of the heart, as it were, the place of the very self itself, the throne of absoluteness within our body, that which is living and alive inside each one of us, the divine divinity of existence itself, which has taken form as each one of us, our true identity, our highest identity, our most authentic very self itself. We say this is the abode of all contentment, satisfaction, and fulfillment. It is nectarian, a vastness that bathes us eternally in its unending streams of bliss. Here, all is full, whole, and complete. All is bright, all is resonant and resounding. All is attained, mastered, known, and then utterly transcended. So it is a very beautiful process that we're engaged with. It is a matter of great celebration and joy to discover an authentic path deeply rooted in authentic tradition, in the teachings of extraordinary and great beings, the Mahasiddhas of the past, and one that offers us not religion in an ordinary sense, not some community organization, but rather the mystical journey into the temple of the heart, naturally opening day by day by day to reveal to us eventually the overwhelming, outrageous, exquisiteness, sublimity, and sacredness of the very self within.